नमस्ते वेलकम टू अर्थ नीति टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू डेविएट अ लिटिल फॉर माय यूजुअल टॉपिक्स ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड्स इंश्योरेंस इन्वेस्टर अवेयरनेस टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग विद अडानी स्टॉक्स वेल आई एम नॉट हियर टू एनालाइज द स्टॉक मार्केट प्राइजेस नाइदर द अडानी स्टॉक्स देर आर वेरियस एक्सपर्ट्स अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब इन द मीडिया टू टेल अस वॉट टू डू अबाउट दो स्टॉक्स I am here to tell you the back story. I am here to tell you about the Hindenburg report. Now, Hindenburg report was published two days back, and it has made some serious allegations regarding Adani Group of companies. Some of the allegations or some of the findings, as uh, the report uh, would like uh, to say, uh, in its research, were that uh, there are serious accounting malpractices. that are taking place in these adani companies uh, the report also pointed out to uh, stock price manipulations uh, because of which the share prices have shot up significantly in the last 3 years correct uh, it has also pointed uh, out to the high loan uh, ratio high debt leverage that these companies have correct and it has said that the company uh, like these are all the findings that have been done uh, in the report so uh, hindenburg uh, research yeah is the name of the firm who has come out with this report uh, have you heard of this research firm before this report came out well i for one heard it for the first time after it came in news uh, i would like to tell you a little more about this research firm now hindenburg research is a us based research firm which was started by one nathan anderson now it was started in 2017 and it comprises of only 5 team members adani group of companies is not the first company on which hindenburg has researched and come out with a detailed uh, report of findings okay the uh, way back in 2020 Hindenburg had come out with a similar research on a US based electric vehicle company called Nikola now this company had come out with an IPO in 2020 and after the Hindenburg research the federal authorities had fined this company you know when the company came out with the IPO the valuations rose at such enormous levels that nikola in a very short span of time overtook four valuations in the market but following the hindenburg report the stocks crashed the federal reserve slapped uh, hefty penalties for defrauding investors and today the stock price is somewhere uh, hovering somewhere around 1 to 1.5 billion dollars where at its peak it was nearly 34 billion dollars now this is not the only company which hindenburg has reported yeah it has also reported about a black marketing scandal in one of the sports betting firms again the firm was uh, heavily uh, punished by federal authorities yeah uh, uh, e truck company in uh, the us called uh, by the name lordstown motors also uh, was fined heavily by the federal authorities for faking pre orders of its electronic trucks now this research also again was brought out in the market by hindenburg research uh, one thing that you should know is this uh, research firm does not work as an activist solely with the intention of alerting shareholders against such companies okay in the case of adani as well when hindenburg came out with the report it has specifically stated its position it has taken short positions on uh, foreign securities of adani uh, stocks okay now what is shorting to tell you in simple words what this uh, research firm has done is it has borrowed these securities from brokerage houses it then it came out with this report following the report what it uh, like uh, they like this report as per them is going to act as a catalyst which is going to uh, make the stock prices of adani shares fall drastically and when these stock prices fall 
Hindenburg will go out in the market and buy those stocks at uh, fallen prices. Correct? And will give those stocks back to the brokerages from where they have borrowed them. So, they take, uh, they borrow the stocks in, uh, in one hand at a higher price from a brokerage firm. They buy it in the market when the stock prices crash following their report and they return back the stocks to the brokerage firm. What they earn in this is the difference between the price at which they have borrowed and the lower price at which they have bought the share uh, stock in the market and returned it back. That gap is what they are going to earn from it. So this is not as if they are uh, coming out with the report just to alert investors. Correct? They have short positions and the stock uh, and obviously they are going to benefit with all the stock prices that are crashing following the following these reports correct now adani group on its part has rebutted these allegations vehemently and has threatened legal action against hindenburg uh, uh, research firm now uh, uh, like i will let you know as and when there are further developments in this but what has affected what has severely affected because of all this stock market crash and the Hindenburg report is the FPO of Adani Enterprises, which started from today, 27th Jan. Now, what is an FPO? FPO is a follow-on public offer. What it means is Adani Enterprises, which had already come out with an FP, uh, with an IPO, initial public offer, few years back, has this follow-on public offer where it is offering more shares to the public, to its existing shareholders, as well as new shareholders. And what they are going to do is to raise more capital, correct? Uh, maybe to uh, pay off some of their debts, to finance uh, uh, some of the expansion plans that Arani Enterprises have. So, follow on public offer is to way, is a way to raise more capital. Now, if you check this, uh, this is just a simple Google search that I have done. The FPO price range is somewhere between, is in the range of 3,112 to 3,276 rupees per share. This FPO starts today from the 27th of January and is valid till 31st of January. Now, compared to the FBO price band, if you see the Adani share prices today, enterprise share prices today, the price has fallen nearly 18%, uh, a 620 rupees fall from yesterday and today stands at around 2768 rupees. So, where the fall on public offer price band ranges from 3100 to 3300 levels, the share price is way below that mark. Obviously, the uh, response to the FPO has been very, very abysmal. See, the, uh, I wanted to state facts about what is going on currently with Adani stocks. Okay, This is no way any recommendation as to what actions you should be taking on the Adani stocks. One thing that you should keep in mind is the nature of the companies of Adani group. Right, Mostly all the companies which are listed are in the infrastructural sector, which is a highly capital intensive sector, uh, which answers the high debt ratio that these companies have, higher leverage that these companies have. Correct? The gestation period of uh, companies in the infrastructural sector is also very very high what it means is the revenue generation starts uh, over a longer period of time as compared to other sectors like say consumer durables or fast moving consumer goods where there is immediate revenue generation correct so keep in mind the nature of adani group companies as well that said yeah, uh, this uh, uh, video does not, uh, like I did not want to say if uh, the Hindenburg research is right or if Adani group is on the wrong foot. Yeah, what happens next is all of us, we will, we will see as it comes in the news. But this was just to state the facts about what is happening in this particular case. Why? Because being informed is the first step of taking a right decision. So I thought this should be put out uh, to all my viewers. And uh, in case you have any uh, comments on this, any queries, yeah, please feel free to comment below the video and uh, I will be happy to help you. Yeah, until next time, uh, stay safe. Goodbye.